Okay, here is problem number eight from the more writing equations worksheet. Okay, so this problem says what four consecutive odd integers have a sum of 392? Now, if you recall, we actually did problems like this at the very beginning of the year. Okay, so this is, should be a review, but we're going to go in and work this problem out. Remember, four consecutive odd integers, when we see the word consecutive, that means back to back, to back to back. Since there's four of them, that's what it is. Back to back to back to back. So, um, for example, that's like one and then three and then five and then seven. Okay, those are four consecutive odd numbers. But what we have to do is we have to find the ones that give us a sum of 392. Okay, and the way we do that is this. Here's how we use algebra. Remember, what we do is we're going to write our first our second, our third, and our fourth. Okay? We're going to write those like that. And the first number is always going to be an x. Okay? So our first integer will always be x. And then since if I go from one odd integer to the next, like if I'm going from 1 to 3, then I know that from 1 to 3 I'm adding 2. So I know that from going from the first odd number to the second odd number, I'm going to be adding 2. Okay? So it'll be x plus 2. And I know to get to, to then I know to get to the next odd integer, I'm just going to add another 2. So that would just become x plus 4. And then the fourth one would be x plus 6. Okay? So those are our four integers. Now, all we're going to do now is we're going, we know that we have to add these, so we're going to total these up. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's, so that's going to be 4 x. And then we have 2 plus 4 plus 6. Well, 2 plus 4 is 6, and 6 plus 6 is 12. So the sum of our expressions here is 4 x plus 12. That 4 x plus 12 is a sum um, matching up with 392. So over here, I'm just going to write that 4x plus 12 equals 392, all right? And then I'm just going to solve the equation just like normal, draw my bridge, and I know that uh, first off I have to move the, uh, the 12, so I'm going to subtract 12 on both sides, and that's going to give me 4x because these 12s cancel out. 4x equals to 392 minus 12, which is 380, all right? And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4 because 4 is a coefficient on both sides. And I'm going to get x equal to 380 divided by 4. And you can use your calculator. You can just use the long division. But uh, let's see. It's going to be 90 and 5, 95. So x equals 95. All right. Now, since x equals 95, that means that we can now find all four of our odd integers. And to do that, we're just going to replace the x with 95 on each of these um, four numbers here. So that just means that the first integer, of course, would be 95. So we know, so we know our first integer is 95. The second integer is just going to be 95 plus 2, which is going to give us 97. Our third one will be 95 plus 4, which is 99. And we know that our fourth integer will be 95 plus 6, which is 101. So, my integers for this problem will be 95, 97, 99, and 101.